But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs>
having the book translated to many languages, as you see, I mean, me, myself, I never imagined really that my books will be translated to all those languages. Almost we are covering all languages in this earth now. We have a Chinese, we have Russian, we have Indonesian, we have Malaysian, we have Albanian, we have Croatian, we have uh, uh, Spanish, Portuguese, uh, German, French, uh, you know, I mean, you name it. So uh, uh, this is a great example how one person who nobody want to listen to him one day. One person, nobody want to listen to him. Now, when I say to you, nobody, I used to try to talk to people and nobody want to listen. From one person who nobody want to listen to him, even Muhammad, and they make fun of his English, as they say. Two books going around the globe in all languages. And as you see, we are giving it for free. If you know Persian people, if you know a Persian church, send them email. Any Persian church, you know, because there's a lot, by the way, a lot of Iranian, they converted to Christianity. And once I remember, I was in California at that time, and I saw a park full of, uh, I saw signs. It's, it sounds like Arabic, but it's not Arabic. So I know it's Persian, you know. Uh, I said, all of those are Muslims? What happened to the city, you know? Because a huge number, maybe 20, 20,000, I'm not sure. So uh, I stopped my car and I went to, into enter to the park and I found the surprising, shocking news for me, which is very good news, that all those people, they are Christians convert and they are Iranian. So that was a celebration or let us say an occasion where those convert, they meet and they bring their churches and they, everybody has his own table. They are preaching, giving brochure, giving books, etc. So Iranian church is one of the biggest converted church I ever met and I saw. A lot of Iranian, they are leaving Islam and they are sick of it. And this book for sure will give them a very, very strong arm and weapon to fight the cult peacefully. So I'm happy, very happy to have it. Uh, if we, you know, if we, uh, if we think about uh, the future, about project we do, it always good work, need good people and if not the Lord he provide me with the good people who they have the good will to do the good work we will never have those books here if one person will work, work alone his work will be usually useless if many they work together and they have and they do it for the sake of the love not the sake of hatred that will be a very successful uh, you know some people they come here and they are you know they troll in the in the chat if, you know don't worry about those people it's okay you see that part of what you do you know, when Jesus, he present the demon, they start jumping left and right. <laughs> so don't worry about the demons. <laughs> people, they are desperate. People do not know what to do. People, you know, if you are a Muslim and you are watching this, the deception of Allah, I mean, what do you want the guy to say? Do you want him to be happy, excited, you know? And the funny is, we are showing everything in this book from their own books. Not a single statement is mine. Or what I am saying in this book, well, this is what your book says. That's all. <laughs> and that drives them crazy. You know, this is what your book says. One of the most funny thing about this cult, or I can't even call it a cult, 
you know because cult supposedly is like something coming out of a religion this 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 is this is a cocktail of many religions you don't know even where it's coming from some from the christians some from the jews some from the hindus some from the buddhas some from the persians some the, from the fire worshippers some from the stars worshippers you don't know i mean this is the biggest cocktail ever zul the guy the goga magog uh, flying carpet solomon have a ring uh, Solomon, uh, somebody took his look, uh, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, what this book is, is going to do, and is doing in many languages, is arming anyone who knows nothing. Actually, if you have a, if you have a good memory, and if you have a good, let us say, you know, people, they are, there are some people, they are gifted in fast thinking, and there is people they learn, but they do not know how to put it together. Like as an example, you might have a teacher who teach you mathematics. But he is not good in it. And maybe you, even you hate the subject because of him, because he doesn't know how to present the topic to you. Another teacher who graduated from the same classroom of the other teacher, like both of the, both those teachers, they have one university, one classroom. But the other one, he make the topic so fun and so easy. This is what we call it gift. So some of us, we don't have the gift of being able to reuse information in a debate, but we have the gift of maybe sharing it. That's good. But those who have the gift of reusing it in a debate, those can really do a lot of work and they can destroy this cult so easy. So this is the, the book, actually my book, uh, you see, if you go down, it says volume number one. Why? Because originally I was trying to make deception of Allah volume number one, volume number two. And that is Quran and science in depth. So I hope soon we will have Quran and science in depth in the Persian language too, the same as other languages. Uh, so Quran and science in depth, it's a continue for the same book. It's not really a new book. But because this book became so big, so huge, I mean, I started with... You know, I said to myself, let me make a hundred pages. Then the hundred became two hundred, and then the two hundred became three hundred, and the three hundred became four hundred. So you cannot put it all in one book. Uh, uh, so, we, we, you know, this is why we divide them into two books. Uh, both of them, they complete each other. But this one alone is enough to make Muhammad, you know, ashamed of himself. As, as simple as that. Now, how many of you, give me one if you already download the, the file, please give me one. Let us see how many of you care. Like as you see, I just announced I will go live. Uh, this is why not many people here, it's okay. Uh, for me, uh, the announcement is, uh, you know, is more important than uh, how many people they will be here. And you know, the video will be there and people will share it. Uh, how many of us download the video? Can you give me one, please? I mean, download, sorry, the, the, the book. The link is underneath of the video in case you, don't, you are wondering where is the link to download. It is under the link, under the info of the video. You can click and actually I will post it for you here. Here we go. This is the link in the chat. So, and now we need you, please, if you don't mind, to reload this file in your G drive and repost it again as link wherever you can. Remember to make it clear that it is for free as a gift from me. You are, so the person is not stealing, he is not hacking, you know, because there's many books you download for free, but it's not, it's not lawful. This is a theft. This is my book. And I am the author. And I'm giving it for free in the Persian language. So make it clear for them that you are not breaking the law. You are not doing something not lawful. Everything is good. It's a gift from the author, all right? And, uh, you know, I did, uh, I did look in the translation. I mean, I, I don't speak uh, Persian. You know, I can read actually here. I can read really very well because they are using our letters, Arabic letters, which is our language, you know? But it's a different language. And there is a lot of words which is coming from the Arabic language, you know? Uh, but for sure it's not a language for me i understand but i can read it and i can understand some of what it says but obviously the the, the translator did a great job 
it's very well organized you know uh, as you see the the index is uh, is really good and uh, the book for sure is long you know because it is a big book what we can do you know uh, any other question <laughs> And yeah, and you know, like one of you, he sent me email, sending me why you give your books for free. Uh, don't you think that you should uh, should at least, uh, you know, so you can get support for yourself? Uh, I say yes. I need I need to support myself absolutely. But you know, the Lord always provide us with people who help. This is why people they donate. Uh, but uh, uh, which is more important, to make some money or to give? And save millions the Lord he will provide and the Lord always never leave me you know without uh, uh, without help and support so I'm very grateful that the Lord always send good people who can support us and always we can do the good work and give for free otherwise as you know there's nothing really in this earth for free you know you don't go and you know to gas station tell them I'm a Christian prince and they will give you guys for free or food or etc so yeah he is right but but this is more important from making uh, money. Uh, money is just to survive. And as long we are doing, you know, the Lord is providing us to survive and even more than to survive, thanks to the Lord, you know, we are doing good. Uh, so why we will keep the book and just, uh, you know, sell it and, you know, just to make pennies and dollars and, right? So this is more important from one person surviving here there's millions and millions of us survive because of, of, of exposing the stupidity of this religion if we can call it a religion any other question <clears throat> we need Turkish well you know get me a Turkish translator he translate what we can do I know there's one of uh, Oh, our brothers is doing translation to Turkish, but I don't know which book I forgot. Yeah, but uh, you know, as soon we have it in Turkish, we will publish it, and I will make uh, in the first page. I will add a, a gift from me to Erdogan. <laughs> Just wait. Uh... I have a question regarding reference in the deception of Allah. Yeah, you can give me the question, no problem. But just to give you the answer, we give before you give me even the the, the question. Uh, the reference is there, the name of the book is there, the page of the book is there. So what is regarding the reference? I don't know what that will be. Can you explain the Trinity? Yeah, it's very easy. But why even the Trinity need to be explained? God. God, the God we worship, is one in three person at the same time. If you say this is impossible, then it's impossible for him to be God. So why that need to be explained? Why it's so complicated? Why it's so hard for you to understand? When you say the word God, you mean Almighty. Almighty, it's mean he can do whatever he want. He can be whatever he wish. Otherwise, he don't deserve to be. Almighty, right? So when somebody come and says, "Can you explain this?" We'll explain what the Trinity? Well, there's it's very simple: God, Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit. What you will explain exactly? If you want to say to me, "How God can have a son?" Will God He chose that He have a son? How God can have an idiot like you? God He decided to create an idiot like you. If you don't like it, go back. Tell God, I don't want you. I want to go back from where I came from, which, you know, whatever. So people, they, you know, they, they come with the, with the, either you believe that, the second you say God, God is not to be questioned, but we can question if this God is true God, but not God, we question God. We can question if this God is, exists. Yes, we can question if this God is true or he is a false, but we cannot question if God is God. If you, if you, the second you call him God, that's mean you are not questioning his ability. Oh, 
why Arabic Persian script is in Arabic because you know when Islam took over I think the Persian language originally they don't have um, letters the same as the Turkish you know the Turkish they don't have letters and this is why they start using the Arabic letters uh, and then when the Turkish uh, when Ataturk he came he switched to the Latin because he trying to get himself more close to the European to be accepted more uh, so because they don't have letters they, they have a language a spoken language but they don't have letters as I understand uh, any other question <clears throat> how you would respond to Muslim or earnest well, Muslim Quranist is a very, uh, you know, a very, let's say, a, a great proof that Muslims are ashamed of their private words. Otherwise, why they become Quranic? You need to ask yourself, right? Uh, nobody will deny what his prophet said unless his prophet's statement is stupid. You know what I mean? Uh, he asking me the question. Uh, what is the person who asked question about the reference? It doesn't say that Allah have two hands. Yeah. Well, you know, when you go to Islamic, uh, uh, first of all, the one who is saying to you that, do he speak Arabic? Do he speak Arabic? I assure you he don't. Same time, all what you need to do, you go to the same verse, change the translator, you will see, keep trying until you find a Muslim translator, he will say to you, it is two hands. If we go to the verse, here we go. This is the verse. Here, there is no, it says, uh, who believe in the presence of Allah. There is no hands at all. But all what you need to do, you can copy this and paste it in Google Translation. Bingo. Done. However, you can do other thing. You can change the translator. This is Shakir. Let us see a different translator. You have to keep trying until you find the one who is being honest. Yeah, so one after one, you have to change. Maybe we can get a little decent translation. Yeah, I don't see here hands. We have to try again. So you have to keep trying until you find one Muslim. He have little dignity to give you a correct translation. But anyone who speak Arabic, he knew that he had day. You know. Actually, this word is exists in the Quran in many places. Uh, yeah, you see, all of them, they don't put the word hands. We keep trying. Yeah, they're copying each other. What the Muslims, they try to do usually, they try to avoid giving description to Allah. Anything will make him look as a human. Even though the Quran says yaday, which means the hands, the Muslims, they try to take it away. So now one after one, we don't see anyone. Saying hands yet. But I remember last time a, a Muslim, he called us a week ago or two weeks ago, if you remember. He said there's only one Muslim translation saying hands. No? Why he's saying hands? Because the word hand is there. But anyway, the easiest way to do it, click here, translate to English, have fun. Eh, it's not translating, why that? Detected language, English. Hmm. Let us try again. Translate to English. It's not translating. Um, detected language. We need 
choose another language. Choose Arabic. For some reason, the software not detecting. Translate to English. Yeah, I know. Well, we can do this. Let us uh, see. We open Google Translation. Remember, if uh, uh, if we go by uh, what uh, what Muslim they say, then there is no need for my book anyway. Just go by what Muslim says, right? <clears throat> we copy from the Quran and we post. Uh, yeah, the translation here is not coming good too. Let's see, yaday. Okay, I just copy now the word yaday. Says translation in Google, my hands. So you can do this just to prove your points so fast and so easy. Copy the word here as it is, copy. And then post, we will clean it here, post again. Hands. And not one hand, it is yaday, you know. So uh, uh, when the Muslim they translate and they take the word hands, you need to ask yourself why. No dignity. This is why I always I say a person who don't speak Arabic trying to defeat Islam is going to be very hard for him if he depends in a Muslim translation. Very hard. Why? Because I never saw deceiving translations done by anyone as the Muslim they do. This is why the Muslim themselves didn't accept the Muslim translation. They say the, the only Quran is the Arabic Quran. All right. Then you can keep searching about translators to see which one of them, because a Muslim he told me there's a there's one translator saying uh, using the word hand or maybe two, you know. I'm not sure which one of them, but uh, there is between them. And the question still will be why they are not consistent. If if the if the Arabic says hands, then the translation should say hands. Very simple. But what you expect? A Muslim when he write a book or he translate, he is translating in the in the in the like and the target is to promote his belief, his cult. Uh, not ready to share the truth. Like the Quran says, beat them, the Muslim, they add, beat them lightly. Why you add lightly if the Quran never said the word? Are you translating or explaining? Are you fixing Allah teaching? Where in the verse it says, first, you add, you know, you add, uh, like, uh, uh, you speak to them. Second, it's uh, you uh, jail them in their rooms. So third, where is the word third and second? And where is the word lightly? And this is why we cannot really take what Muslims they say. Be aware of the liars. What make Islam is a, a difficult uh, religion to, uh, let's say, uh, to expose is the taqiyya system, which is, let us lie, so we can win. Islam is not like other belief where you know people they they say to you, "This is our belief. You believe it. You believe it. You don't believe it. Who care?" Uh, Muslims they don't believe in that. Muslims they are allowed in order to win you to believe in their God to lie to you. And they have even videos of being proud about that. How a brother, a greater brother, he lied to a Jew. There is a video about a greater brother who lied to a Jew. This Jew, uh, uh, who is a neighbor of this Muslim, the Muslim, he told him, uh, why you don't convert to Islam? He keep asking him. The Jew, finally, he said to him, you know what? I'd like to convert, but I like to smoke and drink. The Muslim, he said to him, well, who, did, who told you you cannot? You can smoke and drink. The Jew, he said, really? Okay. Then I will say Shahada. So the guy, he said the Shahada. Now, the story doesn't make sense, and obviously it's fabricated. But this is how they are talking about it, proud about it. So now the Jew, he said the Shahada. After he said the Shahada, now he's a Muslim. The Muslim guy, Abdul, he said to him, listen, 
Now you are a Muslim. You cannot drink and you cannot smoke. Uh, you can smoke actually, but you cannot drink. But he said to him, but you told me, you just told me a minute ago I can. He said, yeah, I told you before you took shahada. <laughs> and supposedly this is a good Muslim behavior. This is because now, you know, he is really serving Allah. Yes, he lied to the guy, but he lied for good reason, according to Muslims. To convert the guy to Islam. No. How that can be bad? So this is how evil this cult is, you know, very evil. Uh, if you ask yourself, when the Muslim they say that this word does not mean Allah have hands, there's a video actually of uh, Fifi, you know, uh, ex explaining that Allah have hands, go watch it. <laughs> not my video, Muslim videos who hate me to death. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, if you if you just type the word yet in 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 the search engine, yet let's type it. Yet. Hmm. وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ يَدُ اللَّهِ مَغْلُولًا Chapter 5, verse number 64. As an example, and the Jews, they say, the hands of Allah are fettered. Do you see it? Allah, he said to them, no, his hand is not. <laughs> so Allah have hands in one verse, he don't have hands in the different verse? You know, I mean, this is how silly. You can, you can, you know, I mean, you can get them busted in two seconds. There's tons of videos made in YouTube about Allah have hands, Allah have foot, Allah have shin, even this stupid Uthman, he said so. They are just desperate trying to find a solution to get out of the, of, of the garbage bag. Can you read Greek and Hebrew? Eh, no, I do not know Greek and Hebrew. I know little, but that doesn't make me an I know. You know, when you say I know, uh, that's mean you have really good knowledge of things. I don't. <clears throat> uh, and not only that even their prophet he say Allah have two hands and there his hands is in the right side which means Allah he have a birth defect Muslims are very funny when they try to de de to, to refute Christian prince they come with the uh, with, with things is against their own religion against their own prophet the hadith says kill the mean both his hands are right hands. Both his hands are right hands. So when Abdul, he says to you, Allah doesn't say that. No. Do you see it? <laughs> Have you ever heard of a God, his hands, both of them in the right side? But in order to, to understand the mentality of the Abdul and Muhammad, he is trying to say that his God, you see, because right hand, right hand, Present this is why I call it right, right, you know, right because it's right. So Muhammad always in his teaching, he is a superstition person. He is copying from other fictions, you know, fairy tale stories. As an example, Muhammad he says, if you eat with the left hand, shaitan he eat with you. Why? Because this is the evil hand. This is why when you enter the bathroom, you have to enter with certain foot. It's a superstition cult, one billion percent. So. How Muhammad now, he is saying to the Muhammadan that the left hand is a bad hand and then he will say, Allah have left hand. He cannot do that. So Muhammad, he come with a solution. Allah have two hands, both of them, they are in the right side. Isn't it that fun? So if we ask Muhammadan, okay, this is your God. Remember Allah, he is a, he is a choppy as Muhammad described him. Have Hajj. He is nor deep seated, nor etc., nor whatever he described his hair. But forget about how his hair looked like now. So, Allah, this is Allah. Look like a duck or something. He have a shoulder, he have left shoulder, and he have right shoulder. Now, the bend in your side, how you see the screen. So for me, this is the right side. 
Well, Allah have two hands in the right side. The left, the left side have no hands. Which means if you come from this side, if you are standing next to Allah here, if this is you, and you stand next to Allah from the left side, and you hit Allah in his head with your hand, ding, Allah cannot respond because he doesn't have left hand to stop you. So this is a weakness of Allah. But we know this is how Muhammad, he tried to fix his God look. So he said, Allah have two right hands. And if you ask, why in the world anyone, he have two right hands? And what, what, what is that? What, what, what right mean? I mean, right for, for who? I mean, even, even the idea of saying right. You see, the Muslim, they say, we don't, uh, when, when we talk about Allah, we don't talk about, uh, we don't talk about a human perspective or like a human uh, description. So he's different. Okay. Well, we as a Christians, we don't find difficulty. Well, Jesus came to us in the form of a man and he have right hand and he have left hand. So it's not a problem. Jesus will sit in the, in the right of, of, uh, 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 of the father. Okay. No problem. With, we don't have a problem with this image. Muslims, they try to fix things. So now, if Allah, he have right hands, still he have a left, uh, left side. So what we would do with the left side? As long as the left is bad. You know what I mean, guys? Do you see how stupid he is? When somebody, he's a stupid and he decides to become a philosopher, how stupid he is? Because, okay, now you fixed Allah and you made him a god who have, uh, uh, you know, uh, two right hands. Wonderful. So now the problem is solved. Allah don't have two right hands. Hey, you don't have left hand. Wonderful. But still, his, his half of his body is left body then. Still, there is a half of his body is left side. What we would do with that? So if we go by the, the theory of Muhammad about left and right, if this is the right, well, the, from here to here, this is, this is left. All of this is left. What we will do now? So now to fix it, we should take this half and move it to the right. Because Allah should not have left side. The same he cannot have left hands, then Allah should not have left shoulder. <laughs> Crazy stuff, you know. <laughs> Uh, you know, always when you uh, when when somebody tried to give you a knowledge, uh, let us say his own philosophy. You know, like every 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 belief have some kind of philosophy. Even though I don't agree with the word philosophy when it's come to us as a Christians, but we can go with this. Uh, philosophy is like you know trying to find out uh, using certain ways or logic to to discover things. No problem. But I find the philosophy of the Muhammadan is not a philosophy. It's a fissy fissy. <laughs> <laughs>